I've already conceded that we're in a top four battle. I've already conceded it. I, I don't. We're not getting anywhere near the title this. I would be honestly shocked. I was shocked last season when we got back into the title race. I'd be even more shocked with just the way this team is playing. Arsenal, I feel like right now they're pretty much favorite. Like one of almost like spot on to make it top four. You're the superstar. See, when you're a, a, a superstar. I hardly give you too much leeway. I can't give you like, well, I didn't have service. Oh, no, 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 no. You're the superstar. Make it happen. Arsenal, don't mess this up. Don't mess this up because has there been a better opportunity to, to put damage to Liverpool in past years? Not like this. So if Thiago's injured, you don't see any way Liverpool win. Uh, no, I just don't see how we can control that midfield then with Henderson and Milner or if it's I Harvey Elliott. Even though Harvey Elliott has been decent this season in this sort of game against the quality that Arsenal have. And you can say what you want about Arsenal and say maybe they have an overrated squad. Who have they really played? But this team is very good. And I think Granit Xhaka deserves some respect because... Maybe he's not a six. Maybe he's an eight. You see what he did to France last year. So, mm. ah, and then, then the other battle is Martinelli against Trent. And if you remember what happened last season between these two teams, Martinelli absolutely ripped yeah, apart Trent in that first half. Trent, Every it. time Martinelli Dear got the God. ball, he went past him. And the only thing that was against Martinelli is he was crossing it, crossing it into lack of threat. Now yeah. he has Gabriel Jesus. Mm. And that is going to cause big, big problems to Liverpool, so, so, especially. Oh, oh, okay, so, 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 are we just from what you're saying? So more pressure is on Aston than Liverpool. Liverpool have less pressure. I mean, I don't. I, I think it's both have pressure because I think Arsenal want to keep up the good momentum, but there is pressure on Liverpool. They have to mm. start picking up some form here. It's just been too topsy turvy. One good performance, then a couple crap performances, then a good performance, then a couple crap performances, and we're not keep we're not getting consistent points. We've we already have four draws this season. We might yeah. only have one loss, but we have just so many draws, and that's gonna kill kill us this season. So I'm not gonna lie, I, I'm not really confident. Even though we did well against Rangers, but I mean Rangers, it's, I mean they might as well be a conference excited. Yeah, no, 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 because, because they were terrible. The reason why. That's why I really like this game coming up is that's a draw with, with, with Brighton, you know. Like, for mm. me, I'm sorry, like, no offense to, to Rangers, but with all due disrespect, I'm not rating go, go, Glasgow Rangers. I'm sorry, like, like that's not happening. So and my thing I, is... Go ahead. So, so, so basically, my thing is that's why I feel that for Liverpool, you're going up against one of the most informed teams. You're going up against, statistically, the best team in the league so, so, so far. So if they beat them, then it's like, okay, maybe this is something because this is the best team right now on form in the league. But my thing, though, is if they lose this, I think really it's now a battle for top four, which is crazy at this early stage. Because if they lose this, I don't see how they stop Holland and City next. I just don't, oh. I don't see how they do that. I've already conceded that we're in a top four battle. I've already conceded it. I, I don't. We're not getting anywhere near the title this. I would be honestly shocked. I was shocked last season when we got back into the title race. I'd be even more shocked with just the way this team is playing. They don't fill me with any confidence. The only, the thing we did on Tuesday against Rangers is we actually played a different formation. Would you believe it? We actually played a four-two-three-one where we had Jota being the creative midfielder who actually had a really good game. And then Charles Darwin who had five <laughs> chances in the game and still cannot score. So I don't know who is going to start in the game. I personally would go with Bobby at the 10 and start Jota because Jota, every time he plays against Arsenal, he scores. So I would play him and just I just rest Nunes for Rangers on Wednesday. That would be my best option. Salah, please, just, just take on Zinchenko because we know Zinchenko is going to bump forward and he's mm. also going to tuck into the midfield. Salah, you can have a lot of space, one-on-one -on -one against Gabriel. I need to see a big game from Salah. He needs to step up, and I want to see Luis Diaz take on Ben White. Let's see how good of a defender he actually is. Because he is good, but I want to see how good he actually is. Mm. But I'm not because, confident. Yeah, I mean, like, Arsenal should, like, like, for me, people always say, oh, you're so anti-Arsenal. Arsenal, I feel, are the better team. They're the team in form. Hence why I think that, yes, Liverpool have pressure, but I think there's slightly a bit more pressure on Arsenal. <laughs> 
because of them losing to United and because of how good they're supposed to be and how out of form Liverpool are. And also, as to you're at home. So we know that Liverpool are the legacy team, but if we go by what we've seen this season, how bad in form Liverpool are and how they've been, they've been struggling, even struggling at, at home, you at your home, you being the top team, you should go and win. United, cool, you lost, but that was away from home. So I think that there's more pressure on Arsenal. But for me, for Liverpool, I'm looking at Salaman because you have to show up in... You can't take that massive wage packet. And in all of these games, when people are looking at you, remember, you're the superstar. See, when you're a, a, a superstar, I hardly give you too much leeway. I can't give you like, well, I didn't have service. Oh, no, 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 no. You're the superstar. Make it happen. Like, when you're a superstar, you have to be a gated merchant. Get it done. Get it done. Um, Paul, talk, talk, talk to me, man. I mean, Arsenal, Liverpool, how do, how do you see this game going? <laughs> I honestly think uh, if Thiago doesn't play for Liverpool, uh, I honestly think that the only way Liverpool can beat Arsenal is by playing counter-attack uh, with Salah. Uh, because I don't see... Arsenal are actually uh, if probably the second best team in Premier moving the ball, first being City, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, I don't see how without Thiago you're going to have that, you know, that brain, that, mm -hmm. that pace, that, that pace, I'm not meaning, you know, speed, but mental mental pace of knowing when to be play slower knowing when to play faster knowing where to pass the ball hmm. game feel i don't see that um so yeah basically uh, the only thing i see that battle martinelli uh, trend is going to be a nightmare for trent because hmm. it's martinelli is basically his his counter <laughs> let's say yeah. it's like and, and, and he's very direct he's very direct yeah, he's, yeah, very. he always he always goes for the dribble he always, I think I, Martinelli I actually, has the most take most take ons completed in all of Europe actually yes. yeah I think I think I he does I think yeah. he does uh, more than Vinicius Jr more than like it's just I love Martinelli as a player to be honest like um, I love his style of play I think Trent is going to have a lot of problems but actually if Liverpool are, actually, are, are able to win this this is a serious it's not only, you know, maybe we're back. It's saying, hey, we're going to go for the top one. Because it's saying, because it's saying, we are fucking back. Dude. Like, which bet, which better team to win than Arsenal? Maybe it's City. But which better team to say, you know what? We got our shit together. The thing is, I don't think they will. And if they win, I think Liverpool will win in a way that doesn't really prove a good, you know, a good game. I think the, the early chances are to honestly play counter-attack. On that point, and I, and I don't know what, what my things about this, do you really believe that Jurgen Klopp is going to drastically change his game to no. sit back and counter? That's the thing that he won't. And, but no, and he, and he shouldn't, because actually his players are not meant to do that. Like, uh, you can't put, you can't put a, a Catenaccio with Trent with uh, Robertson, with you can't do that because those mm. are players that are, it's like Barca can do that because their players are mm. aggressive. It's the same thing. Uh, but Liverpool has found a, a team that actually plays the ball better than them, that can dominate them. Now maybe Arsenal has had a has a bad game, mm. doesn't do that. But uh, honestly, I think this should be relatively easy for Arsenal. Because yeah. it's in a stadium, it's not even Anfield. If it was Anfield, you could say, you know, yeah, you know, main. It's 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 Emirates, dude. Like, I don't see okay. it. Okay, so um, Blancos, what, what what are you saying, man? So I mean, it's it's looking as if Arsenal. You look good, quality players, great attack, play great football. As Paul just said, move mm. the ball, the second best in the league. Mm. More pressure is on you to beat Liverpool if you're at your crib. With no disrespect to, to to Liverpool, based on their form, I'll, I'll I'll start speaking. If you just share this 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 image, and I'll because I need this as the background to go into it because this is the fear, really. Um, now this obviously refers to uh, to to the to Brighton three three and wait wait, wait the, okay 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 so can I just pause yeah. you? Okay. What's Trent doing? Like, can someone explain why Trent not, is basically I'm, meaning that? I, I'm, not sat really, down by I'm not really. I'm not. He got sat down by <laughs> Trossard. He scored a hat trick at Anfield. He's okay, doing the new slide you know, celebration. So, <laughs> you know, so I. So I just need this as a background, just to start, just to start my point, if, if, if that's okay. So, What's by the way, <laughs> shout out to shout out to uh, to the Belgian Belgian forward man. Should be a shout out for the World Cup in my personal okay. opinion. All right, okay. Really thank you. Okay, over over okay. Hazard, but, but yeah, anyway, right. yeah, that's, yeah, that's the side. You yeah, know, okay. what has Hazard, Hazard done? Yeah, okay. Wait, he's Belgian? 
Yeah, he's Belgian, no, actually. He's Belgian. Yeah, Blankos, so, you know, just okay. for focus, focus. Yeah, no, no, it's fair, fair, fair. Just, just, just a side note. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you know, I highlight this picture because, as you guys, are, a lot of people have already said, like, I, I do think trend defense is a, is a weakness in this game. Um, and Martinelli is, uh, will be big for Arsenal. Arsenal have a very good home record. They're always very solid at the Emirates. And while I agree with Mike that, generally speaking, Liverpool tend to um, tend to do well against Arsenal, we are talking about a Liverpool team um, that potentially could have a midfield that's garbage. And even I can go further and say that I don't even think even when Thiago has come, that Thiago has necessarily been that great person. Thiago was playing against Brighton and he was okay. He wasn't that, he, he wasn't, he wasn't, that great and is Thiago alone enough to deal with the likes of Xhaka and Partey who seem to be on in, in, in incredible form um, the mention of Zinchenko is fair but from what I hear Zinchenko is, is I think I think has got an injury and Kieran Tierney might be coming in who is also a good shout and actually Kieran Tierney I'm making a case is probably better defensively than Zinchenko in my personal opinion you know so you then adding Gabriel Jesus into the situation as well against um Van Dyke, Van Disney, Van Fraud, whatever it is, whatever he's going by now, because Van Dyke is, I don't think, has been particularly good this season either. And for all intents and purposes, like Arsenal should actually win this game. Arsenal yes. win this game. And, it, and if I see the midfield and it does have, Hen- if, if the midfield, as Mike says, shows Henderson and Milner together, <laughs> I don't even have to watch the game. I know they're gonna lose. No, 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 I no. But, uh, so like, I, I still, for me, I still find it offensive that in the year twenty twenty two, people are putting a Milders in the midfield. I find, I, I find that, I find that unacceptable. I, I, I find it, it can't be. So, like, if, 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 if any Liverpool fan sees that midfield, you know, when they do the half an hour, hour before they release the lineup. Don't, don't, put, don't watch the TV. No, no, seriously, don't, 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 don't turn. If you see that an hour before they picked it. Don't turn on the TV. Just say, listen. Oh, 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 okay, let me throw this out there. Yeah. So, let's say it's Milner and Henderson in midfield and Liverpool still beats Arsenal. How bad is that for Arsenal? How much does it affect them? Um, I think I think it definitely... I, did, I think it definitely quiets any title talks, if there were any title talks for them. But I don't mm. think it necessarily... Um, Diminishes, top, you know, yeah, um, no, top four. Top no, four. No. That's the thing, yeah. So it stops the whole we're gonna to go to the title, so we're gonna challenge City, blah 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 blah. But it, it I don't think it diminishes top four because realistically, so long as Arsenal keep on beating the mid table, the small teams, they're gonna they're probably gonna get top four anyway. Um, but the pressure is on Liverpool here because you know, I know United were cooked by um cooked by uh, Man City uh, last week. I generally think that if Liverpool start a midfield with Milderson um, against City. That they're even going to be more cooked, like possibly even possibly a proper proper circumcision lubrication if Milderson starts against Manchester City. There's, there's, it's not even going to be an. Oh, 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 oh no, that's yeah, that's that, nightmare that, on Elm. No, no, that's Freddie yeah. Kruger nightmare on Elm no. Street, bro. Yeah, like that's it. Especially especially if it, if if Haaland's going against Trent, maybe double digits, <laughs> maybe <laughs> maybe. Okay, okay. <laughs> so, 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 yeah, so what, what, yeah. what are you saying? Arsenal, Liverpool, man. So, no, so yeah, 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 Arsenal, Liverpool. Can, uh, no, it's just, I, I don't. Can yeah. I add one thing? Uh, that yeah, we'll, 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 we'll just be very short. Uh, I think that about imagine uh, with that midfield, still Liverpool wins. Uh, I think the way Arsenal react will actually be the difference between actually really going back to be a big team or mm. actually. Proving that you're still in that category of downgraded. If Arsenal get beaten and think, oh no, we have to think top four, whatever, out. If they get beaten, but they think, you know, we got beat, that's fine, you know, we can still do it, whatever. They, they I think they will still be able to to fight for that. I don't, I don't think they will win, but I think they will still be able to go for that. Oh yeah, no, 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 like that's sorry, before I say. This is a battle for second. Like first is already done. Like like <laughs> like no no. no Premier League is already finished. So this almost. is like who this is a, <laughs> this is a race for this is a race for second place. This is a race for the silver medal. Yeah, so what are you saying, man? Yes, yeah, so what are you saying? This is a crazy game, Richie. Crazy. Because the reason why, because like it means so much to both sides. I feel like this is such a pivotal game for Liverpool Football Club. As well, it is for Arsenal, but I think it, this game is more pressure on Liverpool than Arsenal. 
And the reason why I'm saying that is this is because I believe a lot of us don't see Arsenal winning the league. So let's just put that to the side. You, like you said, HH, this league is done. Yeah. Arsenal, I feel like right now they're pretty much favorite, like one of almost like spot on to make a top four. And in the beginning of the season, that was their goal. It, 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 irrespective of what's going on right now, that was their goal. If Liverpool don't win this game, I'm talking about if, if I mean, forget about a draw. If they don't win this game, HH, where is the next win going to come from? Because the next game they have is Man City. So you're talking about they drew with Brighton, then that's then a loss to Arsenal and lost to Man City. Mm. That's three games with no win. HH, like, and then we know how we've all, a lot of us all, we, we all support big clubs, right? Mm. We've seen our clubs go through like a struggle. When United, we had like 10 years struggle, but whatever. But we've seen how. A good team, I've seen, especially with Chelsea, I've seen how a good team, they they do so well the previous season. Then the next season, it just, you know, it takes those one or two, three games that, you know, you see those cracks and then the whole team kind of spirals. It's easy for a season or a team to spiral out of control. And I feel like this is the game where Liverpool needs to kind of put their season, especially in the league. Oh, no, no, it's, it's, it's key. It's, 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 it's very key. Like, so, they for, lose this. Yeah, and for, for I, I, actually, I don't, if they lose this, I don't know, I don't know, it, it's one of those things, like, I don't know where to go from there type of thing. Because the, straight after that, you have Man City, and they're like, Man City are just going crazy right now, HH. Yeah, they, no, 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 I, th- I think, look, see, I still feel more pressures on Arsenal because I think most Truthful Liverpool fans who want to be truthful are like Mike. The title is is gone. It's gone now. So this is about top four. So, but the issue now is forget about the title or getting back in the title. Is that if you now lose this and you lose Man City, oh, how complicated is top four going to be? If Arsenal are on four, what are now Tottenham, Chelsea, or even United going to now 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 do? And that is how crazy it is because that's why it is so important for Liverpool because if they win this, okay, can they now? Refine even if they win no, this, is, what can you do against Man City? But if they lose this, knowing that you now have Haaland and City next, whew. that's it, it is, that's my point. I understand what you're saying about Arsenal, but Arsenal has shown that they can lose in a big game and still bounce back because their next yeah. game is after that is Leeds, so they can mm. bounce back. But the problem with Liverpool is like if they don't win this game, they have the Manchester, Manchester they have Manchester City next, yeah. and if you don't win that game. And it's like, okay, then you're looking at their schedule, like, okay, where are they going to get their next win from? And if you, it, it, that's a very terrible situation to be in, especially the size, not only the size of the uh, club of Liverpool is, but the team. So Liverpool has too much quality to be in that situation, but and here, but here we are. So for me, it's, and it's hard. It's, for me, this game is very hard to call because it's such a pre, it's such a big game, and it's at okay. Emirates. It's away from uh, for Liverpool will be away from home. If it was at home at Anfield, I'd probably be like, you know what, Liverpool got this, even though they struggle against Brighton at home. But I still be like, you know what, they got this. But it, this is against Arsenal at uh, at uh, away away to Emirates. So 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 giving the edge to Arsenal. Then. Yeah. Okay. And so, 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 so. won an away game this season either. So so Ricardo, what, what, what are you saying? Just brief thoughts on this, and I want to go to, to score lines. Arsenal, Liverpool. Uh, I think Arsenal. I think Liverpool haven't been playing that well. To be honest, I, I would much rather Liverpool win, just so I can stop coming on here in Premier League talks and acting like this is actually going to be a competitive uh, EPL race between Man City and Arsenal. Because <laughs> uh, this league is far gone, especially yeah, yeah, with yeah, Holland yeah. is scoring. But I'll be honest. I think Arsenal's Arsenal is going to win. I think they'll win like. 2-1. Actually, 2-1 or 2-0. Uh, I hope Salah shows up because he hasn't really been showing up. But with that midfield, bro, that's the most dead midfield since, like, fuck, man. I don't even know. And no, no, but, 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 but the weird thing, though, is that because we're probably at Scotland as now. So you're saying 2-1 Arsenal. Yeah, I mean, I, can't, I don't have faith in anybody else. Like, I'm feeling 2-2, bro. I'm feeling that I just Arsenal should win. 
And I feel because there's so much pressure on Arsenal to win, and because I know Liverpool are going through, I still see that Liverpool will hold them to a, to a draw. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Because, like, bro, Trent, like, I've always been on the train that this guy can't fucking defend. No. And, you know, I had some scousers in their cult following, you know, insult me. But then again, <laughs> it is what it is. You know, I, I respect, I respect the, you know. Oh, don't the... worry, Ricardo. I posted a video about Trent not defending. <laughs> then the day after we beat Rangers to know, they said, oh, he's back. He can defend. I said, Rangers. Oh, yeah. Yes. You know what? Like, with for Trent, like, the fact that I believe, he, from what I heard, I don't know how true this is, but correct me if I'm wrong. I believe he's statistically okay, statistically, which doesn't really mean shit, or it means a little bit, but he is the most creative or chance creator in the Premier League, and he's a fullback, or is he the most creative player on the team? I think it's on the team, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. 100%. Yeah, I think it's on the team. The fact that a fullback. Is Liverpool's best creator right now is like that's really a weird. That's a bit because wild. We, don't, I, we don't have any creativity down the middle. That's yeah, the but the thing is that I don't. I might be alone on this. I genuinely think, with you know, maybe a, a sacrificing a season or so, remodeling Trent's game. Like I think he should be a central midfielder or a right-sided central midfielder. Mm. Like I, I, you to me personally, like if you're gonna be a fullback, mm. it's like you have to have some. You have to know how to defend. To, 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 at the bare minimum, like at least be a decent defender. And he, but is Ricardo, a, like I don't get it. It's like this was always bound to happen. You can't have such a. You can't have a right back that can't defend and expect people not to exploit that weakness. And oh, like, sure. it's just hope. No, no, no. But, 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 see, here's my thing, though. That's never and, gonna get. Never gonna I'm because sh- I'm so. sure Madrid fans will. Know this, I'm sure, and everything. It's the Marcelo example. Yeah. And do you know why Marcelo? Marcelo is one of those guys where I'm willing to live with his weaknesses because we have Casemiro and we have Ramos. So he brings us. Marcelo gave Ramos so much offensive wise that we are willing to live with his defensive and frailties because we know that Casemiro and Ramos can can cover Absolutely. the issue. And the issue with his trends is when Henderson had legs. Henderson was exactly. able to do the cover for him and so forth and Fabinho. Exactly, but now that Henderson exactly. and Fabinho are now de- declining, he's not being exposed. So the issue now is that you can't, like, bro, if Arsenal are on their game, it's over because Henderson and Fabinho simply do not have the legs to now make up for Trent. not being able to understand where he needs to be purpose positionally. Yes, so it's, a... it's, it's that DM and that midfield who have to do the work. I, I have this yeah. thing to say. Is Trent just like... Um... I mean, I'm looking at the free kicks. I'm looking at you know, you know, the whippage on those on those crosses, <laughs> and he plays on the right side. Are we looking at a, a light skin yes, David Beckham? David Beckham, yes, he is. That's what he is. <laughs> we, no, no, but that's what he well, is. No, 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 though. no, no, like, no, no. You know what I'll say? I'll say that he. When I just see how some of his interplay with the midfield, I think there is more to his a little bit more to his game than Bex. Bex was literally. Watch he literally would like stand still and just specialist. smack him out. In, in fairness, purely yeah, specialist. In, fa- in, in fairness, did, did Beckham ever do corner taken quickly though? That's the only thing I would say. Like uh, oh. that was that was that was. No, that was my club did. My my club did. Yeah, two assists in a in a Beckham ran more than Trent. Okay, look, I don't want to get attacked by Arsenal because I don't want this to be all Liverpool led. How seriously should we be taking Arsenal as a team? Or very seriously? No, 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 no. Hold up. In terms of what though? Here's my, my thing. In terms of the team, all I can say is a team who can give City the most realistic title challenge. Because my thing is that Arsenal have looked very good. I think Jesus has been an amazing signing. Jacques is doing really well. And Martinelli, quality. But I had issues with them losing to United. Because yes, United were on form and everything. Hence, that's why I think this Liverpool game is so key. Because if they beat Liverpool, I'm like, okay. All right, okay, let's okay, let's start looking at this Aston side. That's it. Because you can't just be be playing well. Yeah, you can play well, but you need to beat those legacy teams, those so-called big teams, the so-called top six teams. Hence why the Liverpool thing is so key. So my thing though, Mike though, is how serious and it comes to you, Vesa, how seriously are you taking Aston as a as a, a team and how good they can be and how realistically they can challenge City this season? Or do they do you need to see more from them? You're asking me or Vader? Yeah, Mike, 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 Mike. Me. Oh. Yeah. I actually I <laughs> Are they title contenders? No. Man City will win this league by 12 points. So they could be 12 points behind and they could finish <laughs> second. 
And I, I really do like this Arsenal team. I have to be honest. I think they've constructed a very well organized team. And we could talk about the Man United game. I think they were very naive. I think United's second goal was very like the pass from Bruno. We got a, that was a great pass from Bruno. Mm. The third goal that was a calamitous defending. I don't know why they play such a defensive high line. So they, they just and, need and to I, manage. No, 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 no. That was Ateta was was a moron I when think, he made those subs. Yeah, the, the subs were not good. But I also just think the defensive high line wasn't the greatest in that game. So that's but Arsenal. The difference with them is they have mentality this season. When they when they concede yeah. a goal, you know what they do? They get a goal right back. Mm. You look that's, at Fulham. You look at Aston Villa. Other games, they immediately get a goal. To respond so i i think that's the major difference with this team i think you know, we can say light bulb tactics we can say drawings on the board and all this sort of stuff it's kind of worked i think the mentality has gone into this into the squad but they will I not be challenging for a title uh, so, 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 so let me go to this so, so, so how just your brief view on aston so let's talk about how seriously you think Arsenal and do you think they can say what's up to liverpool Aston liverpool what was your, your overall thoughts Aston liverpool arsenal arsenal's form is very good um it is, it is very good so if i'm just looking at that alone i gotta say this is going to be a a matchup that's that it, it's going to be well contested from both both sides liverpool's form is not the greatest right now i i do you know for me it's i all i always try and, to do and my you, best you're looking to smoke on liverpool park next week yeah sorry but, yeah that, yeah no no um but i always do my best to listen right I got two ears and one mouth, so I close my mouth, I listen. Mike, for Mike to make the point of talking about Arsenal's mentality, instantly I perk up because he knows about mentality. His club, himself as a fan, mentality monsters. To point that out with regards to Arsenal, it's something I'm paying close attention to. I got hammered in the comments. I see, I see you guys in the comments. You're always on me. <laughs> I said that Arsenal haven't done it yet. They don't have my attention yet. The resume is building. They, the courses they haven't completed yet. This is one of those courses that they need to complete. This is one of those final big great assignments that they need to pass. If they deal with Liverpool, then we all need to give them the proper respect because they've done it against a big club, despite the form, yes. because Liverpool has had their number. Mm. Now, Arsenal... Don't mess this up. Don't mess this up because has there been a better opportunity to to put damage to Liverpool in past years? Not like this. If they mess up after not winning against United, yes. I see Yassir, I see RDS, they, their chests were big after that win, right? Mm. If they don't do this against Liverpool, Liverpool's chest is going to be out. Mike's voice is going to be 10 octaves lower. Mm. The base is going to be there. They need to handle their business. Well, no, no, but, 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 but you do agree that this is all about who will finish second. So, like, first is that's already a dungeon and, and everything. Like, so this I'm, is about. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave the who's the best challenger for the challengers. I don't. I won't speak on that. I'm. I'm focused on winning this week. <laughs> 